What's up everyone and welcome to a brand new episode here of DNA's Classics Lounge. Of course, I'm your host, Gravity Well, every week, every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. here on DNA's YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Uh, so thanks for you who join me tonight amid the thunderstorms that are rolling across our state right now, which mostly seem to have passed but maybe it brought you inside to hang out in the Classics Lounge for a few minutes. So if you're just joining me for a few, thanks for checking it out. So tonight's game, we're gonna play a classic from the Super Nintendo that was released back in 1994. So 24 years ago, because I can math this week, uh, crazy. I remember playing this one. We talked about it on the other episode of Donkey Kong Country Returns. And I remember playing this one on the Super Nintendo back when that was the main system that you had to have. Uh, Andrea was with me yesterday and she was talking about a lot of her memories. So we might dive back into those things maybe in further detail tonight. Uh, maybe she had some time to think about those things and, and ponder about you know, what she really liked about the game. Uh, one of the things you may notice is a new layout here. Um, let me know what you think in a comment. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I've been experimenting with some things and I like it. I think it looks good, but I want to know your thoughts. Is it, is it something that should continue to evolve? Do you like this one? Did you like the old one? Um, hopefully you get a better picture of the game. I'll be switching that obviously. Um, also, in case you didn't know at the bottom of the screen here, we have a goal. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to help us out. We only need eight more of you to help us, and then we can be eligible for a custom URL. So we'd greatly appreciate if you took a moment to hit that little subscribe button on YouTube. Um, but with that being said, I know why you're here. Not for this. You're here for that over there. So let's jump over. The monster. So, in case you didn't know, we were playing tonight's game on the Super Nintendo Classic. Uh, this came out last fall and it was actually the uh, first episode that we did of the Weekly Dosage. So you can go back and check that out. Episode one of the Weekly Dosage on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's about a 30 minute episode. It covers pretty much everything that's on here. Some of the best games, some of the, uh, none of them are truly bad, but uh, some of the games that you may not play as much as others. Um, so of course we have Earthbound, F-Zero, Final Fantasy III, Kirby Superstar, which is eight games, Kirby's Dream Course, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, which is exclusive to this. Uh, we talked about that in the first episode of the Weekly Dosage. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Castlevania 4, uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, pretty super, huh? Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, best game of all time. Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Contra 3, and of course the game that we are playing tonight, Donkey Kong Country. So without further ado, let's play. All right. So we'll probably get flagged again by YouTube because these are licensed songs. But we're not making money off it, but they ought to claim on us anyways. Not just one, not just two, but five. Count them. Five claims. Uh, quite annoying, really. But what can you do? Nintendo hates streamers for some reason. They don't want people marketing and advertising their products and being proud of it. So, silly, I know. So let's start a new file here since we already had one going. Uh, we're just gonna do a one player game tonight. So let's see how far we can get. So cheer me on. Gotta get used to the controls here. We're authentically playing. Somewhat. No banana horde. Which I think I can go back in here and get something. Yes. A one up. A balloon. 
Like the balloon. So of course we're introduced to Diddy Kong. I missed a balloon already. It's been a minute since I played this, so I might be a little rusty. But that's why we play these things, to see how difficult they once were. These games truly were difficult back in the day, if you remember. So you mentioned last night about those gold animals. What's up with those? You collect three of them. You get to ride one around and pick up a bunch of gold things. And then you get three lives for every, like, 100 you make up one. No. There are secrets, too. Secrets to be found. Another free guy. And we collected Kong. So these are some hidden things that we can do. Any other secrets I should know about? Such as this one. Which one should I do? Any other one. Do the first one. Pay attention. Uh, just trying to time it. Not so good. Not so good. It's okay. That's okay. Well, let's continue on here, huh? Shall we? So how's everyone doing this week? Everyone been enjoying the content we've been putting out? I like the weather effects. That's something that was really neat for this console. Um, and this game really innovated new graphic styling. Now, did you beat this game? Yes. I noticed in Donkey Kong Country Returns you get a heart. Let me switch. Yeah, yeah, you're right. What's the benefit of each character you play as here? I Diddy Kong is easier to move around with, in my opinion, but Donkey Kong is stronger. So, like those bigger guys with like the helmets on, you can't hit with Diddy Kong. They just laugh at him. Ah. They literally go, ha, 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 when you hit him. Yeah, that's what they sound like? Yeah. It's amazing. But I always play as Diddy. Yep. Because he's easier to move around with, in my opinion. Is he like P. Diddy? Done that one close. Did I miss anything? Well, I think there was a secret passage here. Supposed to open I'm sure, I'm sure. Getting all the letters. Oh, the bees. Ugh. I guess I'll do something there too. I am not a fan of the bees. I'm good, I saw it coming. <laughs> oh lord. This game stressed me out. And the weather's nice again. Oh, I needed him to get up there. No, you can jump on the thing, I think. On the cake. Oh, can I? Maybe it's the ditty. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, sure enough. We got it. One up. So the caves are Andrea's forte. She truly wants to play them. Wait, what? Yeah, the caves. You're a fan of them. So what are these? What's the cabin? What's this he all about? He sells you stuff like lives and bananas. Okay. He gives you uh, hints too. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. In general, whatever, down. stick to the tree tops. Reptile Rumble. So let's see what you got. Why? Oh, I feel like this, this is not fair. This is, this is fair. You have the skills. So don't be shy. Chat in. Let me know if you've ever played Donkey Kong Country and what your thoughts of the game are. Uh, whether you love it or hate it. Let me know. I don't care. I want to know your feelings. 
In fact, I'd be really curious to see and really uh, hear people's thoughts on why they hated it. Because I feel like most people like this game. The only comments that I've ever seen negative is that it's difficult, right? So the only collectibles in this one are the letters and then the gold. Correct. Okay, so they keep it pretty straightforward. As far as I remember, yes, that's it. And you said when you collect all the gold characters, you get to be them, or? Yeah, you, it's like a secret level that you... And see, you know of yeah. secrets that I didn't know of here. So you might be able to actually showcase and show off more stuff than I know. A barrel is usually the reason for it, and a lot of times it's not to kill a bad guy. Okay, so that's good advice. Ooh, close call. Nice. All right, so we have uh, coming up. Go for it. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> I'm impressed with your skills. I hate the water world. If I die in this one, you're taking it. Oh, I am not a fan of water worlds. Oh, I, Why would you go right, right into the only enemy on the screen? I hate the water levels. Same. Andy says, I beat this game in an hour and eight minutes. I had no life in high school. That is impressive. Yeah, it is. An hour and eight minutes. So you must have played this a lot then. There's nothing wrong with having no life in high school. Playing games is a life. You That's accomplished right. an hour and eight minutes of beating this game. Well, you're fine without, like, doing drugs or something. Well, you weren't out causing trouble. Unless you beat it in an hour and eight minutes, you can go out and then cause trouble. Or you beat it in an hour and eight minutes because you did a lot of cocaine and you had all the energy. I don't think I could do this game on cocaine. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for chatting in, Andy. What's your uh, favorite level or, like, least favorite part of the game, then? So obviously you're going to know the game inside and out if you beat it that fast. Oh, how ridiculous. Donkey Kong works <laughs> riding a little fish. I mean, it is pretty funny. Why doesn't Diddy get to ride along? He would, if I switched. Well, I know, but why can't you both ride? Why doesn't he hop on your back? He has to swim in. Rick says, I played in a Donkey Kong Country tournament at Blockbuster. Oh, Blockbuster, how we miss you. What is that? Oh, what is that? I do miss, like, on Friday nights, though, going back to, uh, like, a rental store. Oh, God, he is going to get away. Um, going and checking out, like, the new releases and seeing what was available and having to get there early and grabbing dinner because if you didn't, everyone else checked out the new movies. Um... For that tournament, Rick, how'd you do? Did you place well? And what was the prize? I know a lot of people that competed in tournaments for various things. That was never even a thing that I would have known existed. Tournaments? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the people I knew uh, growing up, they played in mostly fighting games tournaments. Mm -hmm. uh, a big one that I knew of was Smash Bros. Um, Justin was really into playing that game. He was really good. Justin was really into Smash Bros. You don't say. <laughs> I don't say. I think that's the only reason he ever got a Nintendo system at all for any of them. I think specifically he got the Wii for Smash Bros. Uh, a 64 probably yeah. for Smash Bros. <laughs> not saying it's a bad thing because it's a great. Ah, oh, it's a great game. I'm excited for the Switch version. I don't know if you guys are or not. If you hadn't known with Classics Lounge here every week, if you've checked out one or multiple episodes, I tend to favor a lot of the classic Nintendo games. I'm not saying I'm a Nintendo fanboy or biased here, but I kind of like Nintendo stuff a lot. Even if they do uh, flag my videos for copyright. Funky Splice allows you to jump in a barrel and go anywhere on the island. So like when you're in past levels, you can go back if you need to. I don't really know why you would have to go back in this game. But... Yeah. Maybe something to unlock to get 100%. Maybe, yeah. 
So fun fact about Funky Kong, there is a funky mode in the Switch version of Tropical Freeze, where basically you are not invincible, but you fly through the levels. Like you, you, it's super easy mode is what it is. So you get to play as funky and it makes the game much easier. Remember how he said in the treetops to stick to the treetops? Yes. Remember how I've been doing that? Yes. So that's the trick to this game, sticking in the treetops? Well, not just the game, but this level. Oh, okay. Remember how their grandpa said that when we were sitting in his shop? I'm still impressed by the one hour and eight minutes. Yeah. That's flying. Like, that's, it's got to be no mistakes. We proved last night the minecart stuff was the biggest challenge for us. So if you didn't know already, there is an active poll right now, so you can vote on next week's game for the Plastics Lounge. Currently in the lead is DuckTales, but Woo! it's, <laughs> hey, maybe I'll sing for everyone too. Uh, and its opponent, the opposition, is Chippendale Rescue Rangers. So we got some uh, old school Disney classic games, uh, both challenging in their own right, um, but ultimately fun and both were memorable games for those obviously that played them. Uh, if you didn't play them, you are in for a treat with whatever one or whichever one wins. Mm -hmm. You are. It's I true. think Candy is the senior. Now that's the one in one of the sequels, right? No. No? No, her name is, this is, Candy's an adult. Okay, Dixie. Dixie's a child. Okay. I think it's their cousin. So who's Candy? Just a classy looking broad to save the game with? I don't know. Is she classy looking or? Very not. Remember how I said it started with an N? Yeah. That's GN, but. Ah. Uh. Oh, we're at the first boss already? Oh. That hitbox though on that character, you should have been hit. This one seems fairly easy. You didn't struggle at all. I thought the bird was the first one. I thought the bird was the first one too. Mm. That was well. Mark it down, ladies and gentlemen. March 2nd at 8.49 p.m. She was wrong twice because it's not March 2nd. Section. I was wrong once too. It is March 2nd. It's May. Oh my god, it is. It's I gonna be... Know. It's gonna be March. <laughs> Doesn't roll off the tongue, you say. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, son of a. You need to get up there, that froggy. Yeah, thank you. That'd make me very hoppy. <gasps> that didn't make me very hoppy. I don't really like the frog that much. It's difficult to control. You're difficult to control. His jump seems pretty... Yeah, it's like wild. And he like has that second jump at the end. Oh, it's like a balance. Yeah, and, so yeah. like when you think you can go again... Uh, it's like, uh... so this game is very rewarding as far as how many lives you get. Because of how hard it is, I think. Yeah, does it get... Like, wait till we get to the minecart one. I died 20 times, just like last night. I have faith. Oh, you are able to kill the bee, huh? Mm -hmm. That's crash. interesting. Now you get to see what I'm talking about, see? See, you get to play uh, as the animal. Don't you, you don't just ride them. Okay, whatever. I thought they were just mounts. So their minigame is when you're rewarded to play with them. I thought in the just overall game you couldn't ever play. Shows how good I wasn't. What's the point of collecting as many of these? Every 100 is a lot. Again, just the... It's almost as bad as Kirby Star Allies. For that game, I ended that game with over a hundred lives. The only difficult part of the game is the last three levels. It's for kids and me. Well, yeah, I know you had a good time, but I mean, but it's for kids and kids get frustrated when they die a lot. So it'd be it'd be a good intro game for Atticus, I think. Oh, hundred. Nice. No, I did. I had a really good time playing Kirby. I'm a big Kirby fan, so um, 
I really enjoyed that game. A lot of the critique was that it was too easy, but honestly, easy or not, I had fun with it, and that's what really mattered the most. Um, and this one I'll play again. I'll start a new file. Because I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I want my kid to learn how to play it, so. Did you not get that? Well, I was going to say, you went right through it, it looked like. Crazy. The mine one now, isn't it? Oh, no. Let's see if I've gotten better. Usually you're better in your... Well, obviously in your prime, but... In your younger years That's of gaming. That sound when I was like, this the clank? The, yeah. The Does it feel right? I think it's just... Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Were you like the pro out of your friends in this game? My friends do not play video games, Trevor. No? <laughs> no. I was work. a pro out of my sister and cousin and stuff, but... Some lame friends. So we got yet another mini game here. Or a bonus world, I guess you call that really a mini game. Yeah. So same objective here is run around and collect things. The um, the same formula and principle has been pretty much for all the Donkey Kong games except for Donkey Kong 64. Um, that played more like Mario 64 and the other like, like Banjo Kazooie, I guess is a great example. Any of the 3D platformers during that era. Because uh, obviously they, they were trying to jump off the success of that man. See what I did there? Jump man. You're welcome. You're welcome. But they, they, they wanted to continue the success of that style of game, and ultimately, pretty much any game that came out in the 64 that was a, a franchise game it was in that style. So you have 30 lives. That's quite impressive. Yeah. But you have to start back at the beginning. That's the crappy thing about getting those. You started your last checkpoint. I mean, you got it's six lives. It's, it's not you bad, got, but like, you got if six you're lives. almost at the end of the level. Yeah, if you were at the end of the level, <laughs> that'd be a little bit frustrating. Is there a, is there a middle ground checkpoint in this? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. At least they don't take away the letters that you got, though. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to get those again. Oh, oh. Stressing me out, man. This is the first part. Yeah, I can see that. And Diddy keeps going. That's the other part. Like, he keeps going forward. So if you jump too far, he'll just fall off the track. Oh, my God. I don't like this. <laughs> and now there's uh, guys running Yep. Yeah. You just turn up the difficulty. Turnt. Got turnt. Got turnt. Um, that's the barrel. thing about Bring a lot of these games. Oh, that's the thing about a lot of these games too. There was no difficulty setting. Yeah. Like you just were good or you weren't good. It was as hard as it was, and that was it. Although last night we found out that you were given a gimme by failing in, too many yeah, times. Yeah, I think in the later games. I think in the later games because people expect it now. I so think too many people games, are coddled. I think personally. Yeah. Which I sometimes enjoy because I think a game isn't that fun if you can't beat it. Oh, I agree so, incredibly. It's it's one of the reasons that I've had so much dislike for the Dark Souls franchise. Yeah, because it's because not it's fun. a I, I couldn't figure you out the formula the to it and you die a lot and I didn't understand or I guess respect that grind um, because I'd played so many games where you just. You push forward. But I, I put in some decent time into Bloodborne. And I don't necessarily hate that game. Uh, it was a frustrating game. I, I learned to respect that genre, if you will. Oof. I didn't think you were making that. You stress me out, yo. Yeah. That's the end, too, I think. I got too jump happy. I was oh, too excited. Man. I was too excited. 
Dang it. Dang it. <sighs> I was so close to that was the end. I think. You did so good through that other part too, which I probably will to do it like that again. Oh, again. man. God bless America, I'm gonna die. So tomorrow, we have yet another episode of the Weekly Dosage for you on our newest of nights for the show. Back to the original. Thursday nights, we are doing another episode of our wrestling podcast called the Three Second Tan. This one will cover our thoughts and results uh, WrestleMania and the greatest Royal Fumble. Because um, there's a lot to unpack there between those two events. Um, a lot of head scratching moments and uh, some face first slides into what the hell. Titus Worldwide. Cooper's Town. Oh, yeah. So be sure to join us for that at 8 30 tomorrow night. Right here on Dose of Nerd Acumen's YouTube or Twitch, as well as Facebook Live. And then, right now, we're contemplating doing a community night on Friday. We really haven't figured out the logistics of what we're going to do or why we're going to do. Um, right at the end. So, be on the lookout. On our Facebook page, facebook.com slash dose of nerd acumen for anything uh, as far as advertising material. If you want to play a game along with us, which will be Friday night community nights. What we do as a group, we get together, not in person, but we get together online and play a game together. We may be doing something Star Wars related as Friday is the 4th, so may the 4th be with you. And then I know, I don't know if anyone's watching that has made this request, but we've had quite a bit of requests for some scary games lately. So I'm actually thinking about taking you all up on that. And Saturday I might do a bonus stream. Um, there's no title yet for it. What were we going to call it? Scareder Day. Scareder Day. Spooker Day. Spooker Day. Spooky Saturday. Spooky Saturday. Oh, no. Um, so we might be playing, and by we, myself, um, we've had a lot of requests for The Evil Within 2, so I think I may give that a go and uh, see if we can all be scared together. I should get one of those heart rate monitors. Oh, there's a DK there, too. I should get one of those heart rate monitors so I can capture my... Heart rate through the I think your heart rate would be fine. I think mine's the one that would need assistance. Yeah, so if you want to check out um, a classic video now of Andrea uh, playing PT that's on our YouTube channel. Um, it's about 40 some odd minutes long. She actually gets through it with help of other people when we were streaming it. Um, but it, it's worth the watch because of her reactions alone. That was quite funny, quite entertaining. I wasn't even on camera, was I? Neither of us were on camera. I was going to say. But the audio capture was comical. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was very funny myself, but I thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was just someone gulping into a microphone? Do you think they did sound captures that way or through a keyboard? I have no idea, Travis. Jeez. It's just a question. Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. See? Oh, it's Stupid that double, double jump. Andrew's going to be off screen screaming again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she'll actually end up watching or not. You may, out of curiosity. What What are you playing again? I, if, if I do it, it'd be Evil Within 2. Is the first one the one in the insane asylum? What's evil with it? Why do I feel like... I played the first one for you. And yeah, you um, get hurt right off the bat. And has the guy with the saw chasing you down inside that corridor. 
Yeah, where you, and then you get into a car. Yeah. This is the sequel to that. What happens when you first came? Uh, it's been a long time. It's been like four years, three years since I played it. I can't remember. You should play that or Outlast. I should make you play Outlast. That'd be entertaining. I think that sounds fun. I think it sounds amazing. I think me throwing the controller through our nice large television would not be fun for either of us. How would you do that? Because I'm scared and I don't So that's your gut reaction to destroy something of well, your own? Well, no, but just the throwing. I mean, I, I think it'll get fun. Really? <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Stress me out, and oh, that's not right. You did it on the bouncy bonanza. It should have been spelled oh, bonanza. Like a banana, a bonanza. Oh. Oh. That's how they should have spelled. Oh, yeah, yeah, like the claymation looking things. Yeah. Stop, go. Oh. I remember being blown away by the visuals in this when I was a kid. Yeah. The best visuals are at the treetops oh. where there's like the houses in the background where it looks like um, uh, the Star Wars with the, the little Ewoks. Oh. Endor. Thank you. Um, you know where you're like riding around on the treetops? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's the best. The Ewok village. I'm talking about in here. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, no, no, no. That's I'm the best. Star Wars, village. sure, I know. Is it far in the game? I think it's after this one. Let's just say, are we going to make it to it? Because I don't know if we're going to beat his record of an hour and eight minutes. Yeah, we're going to. Because I'm not going to play for another hour. So I'm going to go to How would you do that? I didn't realize this was a completionist mission. No, why would you? I don't know. Why would I what? Screw up on accident? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I did it on purpose. Mm. Don't do that on purpose. Yay. Have you gotten Kong on everyone so far? Yes. Nice. Go. Oh, man. Cutting those yeah, close. Oh, those guys are quick. Oh, Lord. Oh, they really make that section. The game just kind of like... Pushes you along? Yeah, there's like a curve to every level. It's like, here's some enemies, here's how to do it, and then we'll ramp up the difficulty. Yeah. So that's, that's interesting. Happy thing you want to say, baby. Yeah, see, I think it's the next level. The, the next bird's coming set, up. Set, or is it the snow? Mm -hmm. I think it's the nice. bird's in this one. Yeah, no, the bird is in this one. I remember getting Nintendo Power Magazine and having these levels like laid out in them. They also you showed like secrets and tips and stuff. And I remember being blown away by the visuals though. I was See, truly ooh, impressed. See how Diddy can't hit him. He laughs, yeah. There's a barrel of laughs now. Oh, you can't really? repeat it. Yeah, you get one one try and then uh, no go. That's just bogus. Oh, this one. All right, okay. <laughs> Someone's tired.
checkpoint. Froggy style. Now, do the animals control differently depending on the character that has them? No. Okay, they still react the same way. The frog is just as annoying as Diddy Kong is plays with. Gotcha. You got Ong. In one of these, it comes down and chases you. The bee? Like one, no, the the hamster wheel. Oh, okay. In one of the little like Indiana levels. Jones. Let's see what his advice is here. Hey, boy. Oh my God, it's got a hook. <laughs> boy. A leap of faith is all it takes to find one in the You can't really fly, but just press the button. So you can see, he gives you like hints. If you didn't know how to play, he's like the tutorial-ish thing, you know? That was called Necky's Nuts. Uh, Wait till the end when he's done spinning on his nuts. It looks like a hand puppet. I did see some lightning. Anyone out there getting a nice storm? Look at that. Storm? Look this... at that. You see that? Yeah, it's a nice storm rolling in. Fascinated by storms, so uh, this is it's a fun Valley. fact. So I think yeah, this is this is the one with the treetops that I'm talking about. The snow one. Okay. This is the top of the mountain. The one where the snow gets really really thick. That one's hard. You know what I'm talking about? No. You don't remember that? No. The snow gets so thick you almost can't see through it. I'm interested. So, if you've been watching the Classics Lounge, we've been doing this for a couple months now. Um, played a lot of Classics games. Obviously, hundreds more out there to choose from. By no means is this coming to an end anytime soon. So, with that being said, I, I do polls every week where you can pick between two games, but I would love to hear some requests that you may have or suggestions that you'd like to see. Um, I have had some requests for some PC games that I'm still trying to get my hands on. Uh, I've had some Wolfenstein and Doom. Um, that was terrible. Um, the terrible that it didn't work the way you were pushing the button to. Good, 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 um, good recovery. I always have a good recovery. Um, so I had some requests for that as well as I believe Duke Nukem from someone. So I'm working on getting my hands on something like that to do some PC stuff. Uh, at this time, I really don't have access to many PC games, so it's going to be console specific, unfortunately. Uh, or fortunately, if those that favor the console. Uh, so if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know, and I can work it into an upcoming poll. You second guess your film. Apparently this one's as hard as the mines, who knew? Right. So feel free to chat in. Don't be shy. But as I mentioned already, uh, if you're joining for the first time, we do have a poll for next week's game. Uh, this week, there was no poll because I took it upon myself to say, hey, we're playing Donkey Kong Country. Why? Because there's a new Donkey Kong Country game coming out on Friday. Not new. It is a uh, re-release from the Wii U onto the Switch. And it's Tropical Freeze. So, 
I'm excited for that. I've heard good things about it. I heard it's a lot of fun. Uh, I also heard it's one of the most difficult in the franchise. So that'll be fun. And it's two-player co-op on the Switch, so you and a friend can play. Oh no. Yes. Hey Joe! How you doing? Thanks for joining us here. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Playing a little bit of Donkey Kong Country for obvious. <laughs> oh, uh, I thought you never mind. Is there watching? So we're trying to see how far we can get. We were impressed by a comment earlier where they said they completed this game in an hour and eight minutes. Um, very impressive because I don't believe I could do that. Over time with practice, sure, but I don't have time for that now. So if you're just joining, I got a new layout here. Oh, did you see that happen? What'd you do? I opened it up and when I went to go jump up, it disappeared because I went out of screen. Oh. That was fun. So I slightly tweaked some things. I made the screen size over there a little bit larger. I shifted this down. There's this oh. tubular thing right here. A tube TV, if anyone remembers those. Um, that's really it. Still the same principle and style as before, I just kind of tweaked it. I got a couple other ones that I've been working on, but this is the one I figured I'd uh, debut tonight. Nope. Oh! Nope. For uh, widescreen games, I do have one for that. Uh, Joe says it's a classic. I always love the minecart levels. Rob says it looks great. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. Um, I like the way it looks. I think it's fun. This is the one I was talking about. Oh, this does look like the Ewok Village. Doesn't it? This is a total ripoff of that. I just remember everyone who played it because my my aunt or my uncle had it, had the Super Nintendo, and had this game. And anyone who walked in to see people playing it were like, "Oh my God, it's 3D. You can there's a background because it was all 2D games up to this point. At least that we had seen. It might not have been like the first 3D game like this, but it's parallax scrolling. In terms of what we had seen, like we had never seen games like this before. It was amazing. Well, this is a breakthrough for for visuals. Not this game directly, but like if you hadn't played the other ones, it was this system that did a lot for yeah. it. Especially if you didn't have a Sega and you were a Nintendo person, this this was amazing. I mean, you can see the pixels. I can see your pixels. Um, but, like, it, it's aged pretty well. I, I think it looks fine. Like, you might want to warn people in case we lose. Lose power? Yeah. I'm hoping we don't lose power, obviously. We got a storm. Really Storm's power. rolling through. I don't know if you guys are having the same problem, um, but if uh, we do lose power, that obviously cut the stream to short, unfortunately. Um, but we're gonna make it as long as we can. It's hard to tell if we when or why we lose power. It happens, yeah. and sometimes the most common well, events. Well, we have the low ground power line, so we lose power less than other people. Yeah. But sometimes wind will make us lose it, which doesn't make any sense either. Because our lines are underground. <laughs> uh, Joe said that he never noticed that before. What, what, uh, the Ewok Village? Are you talking about that? There's a delay in chat, so sometimes if we move on topics, I don't catch it, so I'm sorry. Um, total Ewok, I'm assuming that's related then. Uh, yeah, it definitely is a ripoff. I'm surprised that there weren't like uh, lawsuits or something. Oh, you are gutsy. No, I'm just good. Well, Get good, bro. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> How about we pop open something that was also popular in the 90s for a snack? What's that? It's over there to your right. Oh. So, uh, Sarah was kind enough if you're watching. Thank you again. Uh, we posted on Instagram on our official Instagram page. So, if you search on Instagram for Dosen Red Acumen, you can follow us to check out all the behind the scenes stuff that we've done. Um, we had a nice picture that was taken at the movie That Shall Not Be Named. And oh. you just. I, I didn't even mm. roll. Take a dive. Um, 
Yeah, we have a really nice picture of us as a group there, so you can uh, see all of us. We actually hang out besides what we do here. So we, we can be friendly to each other. It's possible. Contrary uh, to what the... Yeah, contrary, contrary to popular God. belief. Okay, I'm not trying that again. Yeah, it's best to not. Um, so yeah, we're on there. If you're a Twitter fan, you can find us at uh, nerdacumen, nerd underscore acumen. Um, we post there stuff. I'm not a big Twitter guy, so uh, you won't see anything uh, from me being posted there. So if the other guys post something, that's what you'll find. Oh! oh. Really? Oh, this is stressful. Just wait. That's better. Oh, I don't want to wait. Oh, this seems awful. Oh! Son of a, I just got him back! Oh, Donkey Kong didn't return for very long. Yep, weren't there. Oh, oh, oh! He's tired. He's out. Yeah, he is out. Maybe we're snoring away. Plane flying over. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Well, none of these are fair. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, well, I didn't even. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this. Well, there's a bird that is not the bees. The birds and the bees. Oh, yeah. See that. Oh! You I just bashed so your mad face on the monitor. I did too. I was like, oh man. That's alright. So, yes! This is right here. Oh, I got back. So, if you're gonna go back to the 90s, you gotta do it right. Right? Hopefully, these aren't from the 90s. <laughs> Some, been sitting in some warehouse like those Kansas surge that everyone got excited for. Ever, that everyone got, do you mean yourself? That you got excited for them? Dude, Didn't I, you go buy a if, 24 pack of uh, or something? If I could find surge again, I totally would. I still remember when Eric told you that they were there. You were like, oh, can we go to Speedway? And, and we like did, and I bought a, night, I like, bought a plat of them. No, bro, we're not going to Speedway at midnight. I bought a plat of them. I need to find them again. They, they still exist. I see them every now and then, but I just need to buy stock in it. Woo! Not looking, not looking. Not looking at what? Not looking. It's a stressful game. Mm. So here we go. Wally yummy. Chocolate filled crackers. They, aren't they amazing? This is the one where the spinning hamster wheel comes off. This one is? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So this one's pretty tough. Joe says you can get cans of surge at Meyer gas station as well, at least the one in Walker. You know, I would drive that Fokker surge. Totally <laughs> to right. Walker, Michigan? Yeah. I'm totally worth it. I can go visit Meyer's headquarters for a minute, don't mind me. I need to visit some people over that area anyways. It's been a while. Hard to believe I've been on this side of the state for eight years. So much has changed. We've been on this side of the state together longer than we were in Grand Rapids together. By three years. Crazy. Ben, Ben. Not bad. <laughs> I think you can um, buy Surge on Amazon. Okay. Let's see. See, here it comes. Let's see this stuff. 
Well, that went so fast. Didn't even catch up to me. Look at you, bro. Oh. Look at me. Look at you, Bill. It says it's currently unavailable. Mm -hmm. Find Surge. Surge soda. I'm new. I mean, really? You're searching Amazon and you're streaming right Yeah, I know. It's Fruit gushers. People came here to watch, bro. They're watching the game, but I'm just curious. It's relevant to what we're talking about. <laughs> Come on, bro. Ugh. What else came back recently that I was all about? Crystal Pepsi. Seriously? What do you mean seriously? You remember that? The clear Pepsi? No, I remember Crystal Pepsi. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying seriously, it came back. Not again, again. It was a couple years ago. Call on that one. Did you know that? Yeah. Because it's Diddy Kong. You don't jump as high as Donkey Kong. These are so good. Oh yeah, 41 minutes of our 28%. Thanks for checking us out, Joe. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Uh, make sure you check out our poll if you want to see uh, one of those two games next week. So take care, man. Appreciate you checking out the stream. Yeah, so it's finally warm, and it's been warm for not even a week. And because of the rain, we had to seal up our windows and uh, unfortunately turn our air on. Because it was 81 degrees now. First world problems. But we wanted our kid to be comfortable. We didn't want him burning up. Bob says most speedways have surge anymore. Thank you. Uh, what, any more speedways has most anymore? As in like most speedways have surge anymore. Oh, Nowadays. so they exist. They, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they exist now. Well, we need to get some for our uh, well, when did that come out? Like 97, 98? When that was like super popular? Because mm -hmm. when we do that I wasn't to have it. taping our live stream for the that year, we should have that. That's what we should do too. Um, find products, like food products or drink products that came out those years and we should have them. Man, if you could find some Dunkaroos. Oh man. Dunkaroos still exist, I think. What? Yeah. I want Dunkaroos in my life. I'm Dunkaroos sure. were the best. It's basically cake frosting and graham crackers, but they were so good. So it says it comes in 16 ounce cans. Yeah, I need some. Um, I used to get them at, in a two liter cans of Surge, or not can, well, obviously. Uh, bottles. Bottles of Surge on a two liter. Um, and that would be my Friday night with like a PlayStation game or something. And stay up super late because of the freaking two liter. We drink it all. That sounds like a commercial. Like a Surge. It's your Friday night. I mean, it was like Rob and I. Uh, we play mostly wrestling games. He was a big sports games guy, um, but we play wrestling game. I guess that's considered sports. Um, we even saved up money to go get a, a joint game. We had like custody of it. We exchanged. <laughs> it's true. Uh, he'll tell you about it if you ask him. 
Currently, I have the game because he doesn't have a PlayStation anymore. You want to end the divorce? I, I want to end the divorce. Um, but it was um, SmackDown for the PS1. We went to uh, Toys R Us and picked that out. Had my dad drive us up there. We had saved up whatever money and doing chores or whatever we did. So we did a $60 game. I think it was like on sale, so we had to go that weekend for like 50 bucks. But we, uh, ooh, very close. But we had to have that game and uh, I still have it and it's a lot of fun. Oh, you and your dang tentacles, the octopus. This is not so good. What this is, is really high alcohol by volume. What is it? 6.9. No, the drink. It's the Joker hard cider out of California. Is that good? I want to try it. You want to try it? Yeah. So we have this. That's what we're doing tonight. I don't know if I can show that on camera. <laughs> it's just beer. Yeah, I don't know. They have weird rules on, on stuff. Oh, you left me your spit, thanks. I'll leave my spit. Oh, that's... Something. Yeah, it's okay, it's not so good. I wouldn't recommend it. It's like... Really tart. It's really tart and it's very high in alcohol volume. Well, I would recommend it because of that, but yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling pretty loose. Oh, excuse me. Two. I'm just kidding. I burped. Bumblebee rumble. Bumblebee rumble. Speaking of uh, tooting, my son during dinner, oh my god. He leans over and he's like, <laughs> and then he just he loses it and starts laughing. Um, so he's quite the character. If it was legal for kids to stream, I'd get him on a stream. Fortunately, on Twitch, it's like you have to be 13 or 14 or something. Unfortunately? No, fortunately, because then you can't exploit children. He's got his own YouTube channel. It doesn't matter. Kids exploit children. Play a video game for me for 14 hours, kid. Don't leave your own. Well, I wouldn't be doing that. Well, you wouldn't be, but there are jackholes out there who would, so. I wonder if I could have him on cam with me. Good, as long as you didn't do anything funny with it. Well, obviously. Well, yeah, that beer is. Yeah, not so great. Are you ready for the ice world? Is this the ice world? Okay. Is this the ice world? What are we doing here? Ah, tricks. She's a trick with tricks. Watch it. Watch what? Second, third one. That's what's going on. Third one. <laughs> wow, have another beer, Trav. <laughs> so what happens when you don't eat much food because you're eating less calories and you burn calories on a two mile hike? Hike? No. Bro. 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 Listen, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. I hiked my ass. <laughs> My height. There's <laughs> barely even any hills. Dude, it was like a two foot vertical incline. It's legit roads through our subdivision, guys. Roads through our subdivision. That, that's Where we're going, road. we don't need roads. With movie. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, I don't know, maybe they don't know. This is a nerd thing that I would hope they would <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe that's why they're here to learn. Can't spell classics lounge without some class. Mm -hmm. Andrea Lana, she puts the ass in classics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's getting weird, folks. <laughs> oh, hi, B. See how it's getting dark in the sky in the background? Yeah, what's happening? Is it going to snow? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there's the snow. Oh, right on cue. Dick Tracy. Yeah, Dick Tracy. I think he's being funny. 
Rob, Rob says Dick Tracy. Oh. Uh, no, but that's a great film. Never seen it. Uh, we just talked about that in the 1990 episode, which you can catch on our YouTube channel right now. Isn't Dick Tracy Warren Beatty and Madonna? Yes. Okay. You've never seen it? No. I own it. He wears like a yellow suit, doesn't he? Yes. Trench coat. It just skipped over that one. Hey, baby. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Check out our 1990 episode. We talk about everything that's good culture. So oh. all of the good culture that is from 1990. Uh, if you like that series, we may and yes, we will be doing more because I enjoy it. So. Oh shoot. And Rob's been doing a fantastic job with the. Um, Production management of everything during those streams, so. You see what I'm talking about with the snow? Yeah, it's getting really sketchy. Uh, no, wait, it was definitely Sin City, Clueless. I have no idea. It seems like you need a doctor or something to figure this out. There's an IQ higher than a clock tower. Uh, Are those quotes from the movie or something? He's, he's literally uh, giving a visual of the film. He knows what it is. He's being silly. Sarah asks, did you talk about Fruit Stripe gum? Oh, Fruit Stripe gum. Does that, does that still exist? Delicious for five seconds and then never going to taste anything. There's a, I'm <laughs> sure you could find it. There's a YouTube clip of uh, Peter Griffin from Family Guy, obviously, if you didn't know. Uh, he's talking about, I believe it's Fruit Stripe gum, where, where he does just that. He's he like... Takes a bite, starts cheering, he's like, oh my god, mm! and then he's incredibly disappointed for like five seconds later. Yeah, it disappears really quick. And it's true, that gum was like, oh my god, it's the best gum in the world, and why am I chewing rubber? Oh. Mm. I really needed that. Well, I guess the barrels were really coming out. But... There's also, what was it, Zebra, zebra Stripe? Zebra Stripe gum was the same thing. Were they the same company? I don't know. Is that the one with the tattoos? There was what? Bubblicious was another one. Those are the big square ones, I think. Yes. Or Bubble Yum. Bubble Yum. That's BS. Bubble Yum. Uh, it does still exist in the flavor disappears just as quickly as it always did. That's a bummer. What's the next boss? Because I think that's where we'll end. I don't remember. And that's if I even get there. I'm at the very start of this level, so... Well, there's only, like, a few short levels. Per, Travis, like, the last four. one had about ten. No. There's no right, way. All right, Junkie, calm your tits. I'm not... I'm, I'm probably done after this, because I'm tired. You're so close, though. I'm not close. I'm on the first level of this. It goes up and around twice. You go up and around twice. You, you sure told me that. Oh, this is stressful. Should have gone the first time. Yep. Because now the timing is so off. Oh my god, the timing is horrible. Oh! oh! This one's hard. This one's hard. I, I think we might have to, because it goes all the way over to another screen. Up. See if you can get through this oh, one. Oh, I'm not. No. Just do your best. No. Uh, I will do one more try, and then I'm done. And you can do Man, bubble tape. Oh, I remember the bubble tape. Yeah, it was in like a tape <laughs> container. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the zebra's the mascot for fruit strike. Oh, oh, that makes I sense. I didn't even make it to the barrels. All right, so let's give this a go, and uh, this might be the last one we do here. It is that time. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Why did I do it again? Is it slippery? Mm -hmm. I don't like this level. Oh. Let's just go with that, shall we? Oh, this is awful. I don't like slippery levels. Well, I'm not well, a fan of that. This has been. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. So we're gonna do this, and 
press the tab. Save state. So if you're just joining, or if you didn't miss, or if you did miss the beginning, um, we played this tonight on the Super Nintendo Classic, so you can get some authentic experiences from this system, uh, which you can find them now. They're more available than they were at launch. Uh, unfortunately, they're still about $79 running on. I haven't seen a sale for either the NES or SNES, so you probably have to pay the full price. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you can find various retailers to get a pretty good deal or trade in at some retailers where they offer them. However, this game or this console features Earthbound, F Zero, Final Fantasy III, Kirby, a couple different Kirby games here Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, 1 and 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super, RP, Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World. Some of these games you've already seen in the Classics Lounge, uh, some you have not. Super Metroid, Super Punch Out, the best game of all time, Legend of Zelda. Uh, Yoshi's Island, Contra 3, and then of course back to Donkey Kong Country here. Um, as I mentioned, there is an active poll right now. Vote between DuckTales or Chippendale Rescue Rangers, both fantastic cartoons, but also fantastic games on the NES. So I'm going to play one of those, if not both of them, during the stream next week, but I want to know what you want me to focus my time on for when you tune in next week, Wednesday at 8.30 p.m., Eastern Standard right here on DNA's Twitch and YouTube and Facebook Live. And in closing, for you didn't what you didn't know, let's switch over here so you can get a better glimpse. There is the goal. I need all of you to head over to youtube.com right now if you're not already there. Type in Dose of Nerd Acumen, hit the subscribe button, do us a huge favor because we only need eight more people to help us out. That's it. So please be one of the eight. We'd be forever grateful. Make sure to check us out tomorrow night at 8.30 for the weekly dosage. The three second tan returns. And we're gonna be talking wrestling. We're gonna be recovering from the greatest royal fumble, as well as talking results. And they're replaying my clips of failing. Damn you, SNES Classic. <laughs> uh, if you're watching that in the corner over there. Um, it stores like your recent. <laughs> it's just the greatest fumble right there. The greatest row of fumble. Uh, we'll also talk about some results from WrestleMania, what we thought, how on or terribly off our predictions were. And then, of course, we'll be giving our predictions for the upcoming pay-per-view this Sunday night, which is Backlash. So make sure, if you like wrestling, to check us out tomorrow at 8.30. We're going to come together as a group and talk about that. Then, of course, it all begins next week, Monday at 8.30, with Lock Steady. Possibly completing out his Uncharted 2 run on the Nathan Drake collection. Next Tuesday, we have the On Land Party Tuesday night with Eric the Dead. He'll be playing some Overwatch with friends. So if you have Overwatch on PS4, join up with him as well as possibly myself and Locksteady so we can be really good or really bad at the game. Then again, we repeat all over next Wednesday here with me in Classics Lounge. And then we end that week with the weekly dosage. So... Stay posted on facebook.com slash dose of nerd acumen for exciting news, updates, and maybe some cool articles that we share that we find compelling. Comment, do what you want to do, be part of the nerddom, the nerd kingdom, if you will, and just give us some feedback. Let us know what you think, if we're doing something cool, if we're doing something terrible, or what you want to see. So, appreciate y'all stopping in on another episode of DNA's Classics Lounge. And until next time, make sure you keep playing those games. See you guys.